Sanctioning Russia is only devastating the American worker the most. Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and today I'm, ta- I'm going to be talking about exactly, exactly why sanctioning Russia is only going to shoot us in the foot. It's going to backfire and we're going to be in a massive, massive gray economic depression. Okay, Now, for most people in America, if they're not preppers, they don't have any idea what's coming down the pipe, okay? They literally have no idea because in America, we have it too good. We go to the grocery store and then we can choose from 10 different waters, okay? We never had a situation where we go to the grocery store and there's no water. We go to the grocery store and there's no meat. Where, for example, I was born in Iran in the Iraq and Iran war, and I remember going to the to the store with my parents and I have to wait in line for hours to just get one pound of chicken, okay, because there was nothing out. I've also seen on YouTube people in Sri Lanka, people in other countries right now are waiting in line days and days just to, to fill up their cars, okay, just to get fuel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the same thing is coming here to America. The same thing is coming here to the West, ladies and gentlemen. The same exact thing because... What we do in America is we outsource everything out to all these other countries. At one time, we were the powerhouse of the world. We produce stuff. But again, corporations are so greedy. They're they're just wanting to make maximum profit. They don't care about the community. They don't care about their workers. And that's why they're ready to hire people in uh, Mexico. They're ready to hire people in India and in China versus, you know, create companies here or I should say manufacturers here because you know they want to have massive profits okay they want to have massive profits and the problem is that since we don't produce anything here all these other countries are becoming our producers and our raw material providers you heard me right the raw material is China and the producers of the world is for example Taiwan China I'm sorry the raw materials is Russia Forgive me, I'm freestyling. And the producers is Taiwan, uh, China. And if you haven't noticed, we're having major conflict with both of these raw producers and manufacturers. So what I predict that in this coming winter, we're going to have massive, massive pain and suffering in the West. For example, in other parts of the Europe, they're going to be like struggling to, to have even electricity. They're going to be struggling to have uh, heaters in the winter and you can see the side effect happening right now for example if you just google spain they're they're coming out spain the country is coming out and making mandatory laws where you can't have your ac at a certain degree because it sucks up more electricity and this is just the beginning of the war so the sanctions literally have backfired because we we were like you know throw a tangent tantrum we sanction everyone we didn't understand that we control the monetary system which is the layer two but the layer one which is the actual resources because the actual manufacturing well we don't control that we, we don't produce that okay now we do produce a lot of weapons right that's why nato is where they are because everyone that joins nato they gotta buy from Lockheed martin right so yes we do create weapons and guns and knives but it's very hard to find a bicycle manufacturer in America. It's very hard to find XYZ manufacturer in America because everything's outsourced out. So now that we're sanctioning the crap out of Russia, we're sanctioning the crap out of uh, and tariffing China, very, very soon we're going to have major, major shortages that we've never seen before. Okay over a hundred years you know maybe our great grandparents know what what i'm talking about but for me and you we have no idea both all of us are very very spoiled you know we 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 go online we go on amazon we click a button they ship it right to us you know and this is our our way of life if someone at, at the store treats us a little bit bad we want to talk to the manager we want to get some free food we want to get this we have no idea what it means to wait all day long in line and not to even get your food or gasoline. And that's, I believe, what's coming to America. I hope not. But, you know, it doesn't take a genius to realize that we don't produce stuff here. Uh, we, you know, yeah, we're the world reserve currency, but that's changing every month, every year. 
we're, we're getting closer and closer and closer for not having the, that uh, reserve currency. And again, once that we lose the world reserve currency, dude, you haven't seen inflation, right? You haven't seen inflation because if you look at, you know, I was watching some YouTubers on Russia, they were going to the grocery stores and, you know, you can see everything was packed up, right? And on, on the same thing, some of the food that they had, or I should say all their food that they had on this guy's video was a lot cheaper than in America. For example, like eggs, right? I mean, when I go to the store and I, and I order organic eggs, I'm paying like eight to 12 bucks for organic eggs. These guys in Russia were getting eggs for $3, ladies and gentlemen, $3 after you do the currency exchange to root, ruples to America. So we are seeing that, you know, the pain is coming. Now, if you watch the news, they're not going to tell you this, right? They're not going to tell you that, hey, you know, what's happening, right? Because a handful of corporations own the, mu the news, a, ha a handful of corporations own the pharmaceutical companies, a handful of corporations own all your f food production and your media. And, you know, it's just, it's like an oligarch, right? You know, it's just like what they have in Russia, even worse here, because uh, a small amount of, for example, food companies own all the different food brands in your grocery store you don't know it because they have all different different brands but it's just a handful of companies that control and and you can see the side effect of that which is obesity like everyone in america at least more than 50 percent of people are obese 10 years ago you couldn't find kids that were obese three years old four years old today i see i go i take my kids to the playground and there's three, four-year-olds obese, ladies and gentlemen, are like obese, like they're about to hit diabetes, you know, diabetes one, diabetes two, and it's just like mind-blogging that corporate America doesn't care. The same thing is happening with the media. They don't care that you're gonna have to pay a lot more, you know, at the pump. They don't care that your food price is going up. They don't care that Big Brother is not reporting on inflation correctly. They have no care. What they wanna do is polarize you what they want to do is pump you with some fear. What they want to do is tell you there's a boogeyman over there because that's how they make their money, right? And, you know, all, all these big elites are pretty much in bed with each other, you know, from if you look at the pharmaceutical companies, if you look at the Milwaukee, the weapon industry, merchants of death, if you look at the, uh, you know, whatever, you know, they're scratching each other's back. They're not helping the average American. And so these sanctions... By, by winter, we're going to feel the pain like we never felt it before. And by next winter, if this thing, this conflict does not stop, it doesn't look like it because Big Brother keeps shipping in more and more equipment to fan the fire, okay? They're just fanning the fire. Instead of trying to negotiate, instead of trying to be a, uh, a mediator, a referee, or try to do something to cool off, put water on this conflict, big brother of Western media and the Western countries are just constantly pushing and fanning for WW3. I'm not sure why, what wasn't their interest. Maybe because they know they printed out too much money, right? Maybe they know that they don't, they're not producing any, anything and things are about to shift, right? The world reserve currency is about to shift. It may be going to Russia. It may be going to China, right? Versus America. They know that there's too much debt. They know that there's zombie companies walking around, okay? They know they printed so much money. So they need a conflict. They need a conflict so they have a boogeyman. So the, the point I'm trying to make is, ladies and gentlemen, Big Brother, the newspapers, they don't give a rat's butt about you and me. They want inflation. The system is created inflation to rob you as a second tax, a unspoken tax. And on top of that, there's going to be massive shortages of a lot of stuff because the raw materials and the producer of the raw materials we're at major conflicts with at the current time. And hopefully that will stop because, you know, uh, we, I like to have world peace. You know, I, I, I don't want to see all these babies you know, being slaughtered by shellings and things of that nature, okay? And one of the ways to have world peace is by having trade. You know, when we don't have trade, right? When we don't we don't send our stuff over there to overseas and they don't send their stuff to us, the next thing we're gonna send over there is bullets, okay? Because trade allows us to understand and work with other people that don't look like us, right? You know, because 
those Asians got this the silk, we got the metal or iron, we can exchange it, right? You know, and, and, and kind of communicate and kind of work with the other tribes of people on earth. But anyways, guys, I think tough times are coming. There's going to be great opportunities. I'm, I'm not saying there's not opportunities, but for the, the, the majority of Americans, they have no idea what's coming down the pipeline. They have no idea how high expensive gas prices are going to go up. And I, guys, I told you in 2019, gas is going to hit nine bucks. People said I was crazy. We're there now. Just wait. One more war with Iran. Okay, you can expect gas to go to 19 bucks, 25 bucks, something unheard of. And we're seeing tensions happen with Iran as I'm speaking, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so get ready. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Peace.